every noise, every sound, I can differentiate between a noise and the music. It doesn't mean that music is complicated, it just means that music is very interesting. My name is Abdul Karim Rashid, I am the owner of Melodica Music Stores and I'm proud to sell African music. Melodica was started by my father. His name is uh, Pravin Lal Laljibai Daudia in 1971. Before that, it was in Bonanza, Lutuli. Then it came Melodica, Tomboya Street. And uh, we've been at it since then. First remembrance of myself was when I was young uh, in Lutuli, when my father had started the company. Uh, they started it under the name Bonanza. There was a movie called Bonanza, cowboy movies, and then they were decided to call it Bonanza. And then on Lutuli. And then when I was a child, I used to sleep under the, where the record players were. My father, hey, chezai, 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 chezai. So I grew up inside of it. We were not pressers. The, there was companies, these African records who were doing pressing and all of that. And every African uh, industry, which I am part of, started by then. Kamaru, there, Melodica, Chandarana, Kericho, all of that. Everybody started upon it and everybody went into the pressing company. And that's where the music began to bloom. And by the way, this is what a record looks like. There's much more. There's the bigger one, there's a the smaller one, and then there's the old one, which is his master's voice, which you, you see out of Africa, like that. And it's, it's beautiful. It's all about this. My favorite uh, uh, 60s artist is Dauri Kabaka. You know why? He was, oh my God. He was all over the place. He was like a Jimi Hendrix of Africa. One of the greatest things about um, Kenya, I, I have to admit this and, and state it, Kenya is one of the most important East African production company from all people, whether it be whichever language, Kipsigis, Jalu, you name it. And to me what's surprising is how diverse Kenyans are in their choice of music. The youth, the youth have also come up, which is to me, I thought it was lost, honestly, lost. But it is. It's still there. And, uh, and why is it still there? Because I think uh, African music and world music, if I may, it always simplifies, sometimes not only of a present generation, but even of a previous generation. Preserving even uh, our northern cultural music from the Giriyama, from this. You know, we have recordings of them. 